Video gaming is a beautiful thing. It can entertain you. It can make you laugh, cry, scream. It can even make or break your day. But sometimes, sometimes it can do much more than that. Sometimes it can grab you in, never let you go. Sometimes it can give you a new perspective in life. And sometimes it can simply change your life. The concept of video games as an art form has been debated for a very long time, and it was not until mid-year of last year where it became officially considered an art form in the States. But whenever I think of video games as an art, the first game that comes to mind is, and will always be, Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus had an immense mark in my life, and I always consider it above other games in a very special way. The game dealt with a hero trying to save his love and accomplishing impossible, morally great tasks in hopes of ever seeing her again. The beauty of the game, however, was how it transcended video gaming in its time and blew it out of the water with amazing graphics, vistas and psychologically stimulating gameplay mechanics. You see, you are alone in this huge forbidden world where no one has ever set foot in for centuries and your only companion was your horse, because he's the only character that ever helps you in this bizarre, cruel world. You get to form a very strange bond with the animal, and with him, you explore this pristine, beautiful, but empty world. The concept of navigating through this empty world creates this feeling in you of connectedness with the world. You feel like you belong there somehow, like you and the earth are one, yet to save your love, you will have to destroy it. The events in the game will force you to destroy this Colossus, which are the only entities in the game that are actually compatible. Yet, you don't want to. You feel like you don't want to. Normally, there would be no reason to. After connecting with nature, you have to destroy it. And as you kill these creatures, you really truly feel sad. The sad music that pops up every time you do one fills you up with remorse. And as you start wondering, why? Was it really necessary? They didn't do anything. They are the guardians of this world, of this beautiful, empty world, and yet, I have to kill them to get what I want, to save the one I love. It is all sewn together by the fact that every time you kill one of them, you absorb their essence, and as you progress forward, you start looking more dark, more sinister. You start feeling how your character is changing as you murder these guardians. You know what you're doing is wrong. You know that it is destroying you on the inside, and yet... You have to continue doing it. The game is forcing you, there's nothing you can do. You have to save her. The game ties everything up with an amazing finale. Beautifully orchestrated and incredibly sad. I wouldn't even dare spoiling some of the amazing sad ending scenes in the game, in hopes that some of you go and try the game out if you haven't already. To play this game to its full potential, you have to believe, you have to get into it. You can't simply play this game with the mindset of completing it or finishing it. It is simply not the way. You have to believe in the world, you have to dedicate it love, and in return, you will get one of the most amazing and life-changing experiences in video gaming that you will ever have. Sometimes, a video game can drag you in and never let you go. Sometimes it can even give you a new perspective in life, and sometimes... Sometimes it can simply change your life. Become a video game lover with us, and click that subscribe button. Also, help us spread the love and click the like button. Stay gamers, guys, and as always, have a nice day.